Hi there, so I wanted to record this video real quick to talk about market cycles and more specifically market cycles in California real estate. It's obviously the market I've spent uh, pretty much all my time looking at, although I have looked at Nevada, Arizona, uh, and Texas a bunch uh, about five or six years ago when I was deciding if I wanted to, to move any of my equity or, or, or positions to other states. It all came back to California dirt. So I like California dirt for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, is um, there is a market cycle, right? If you just go back and look at the last couple of decades, California has um, you know pretty consistent run ups. Um, then there's sort of a flattening, and then there's also a downturn. Now, when some people hear that, they sort of think, "Oh my God, what are you talking about? You know, the the downturn hurt so many people, and it, it absolutely did." However, when you're in the real estate investing game, and you know you are building your portfolio. You should use this market cycles to turbocharge your, you know, achievement of your goals. For me, it was financial freedom. So what do I mean by turbocharging your goals? So on the market upswing, which we are currently on now, now you can argue the trajectory of that. I would think it's mid single digits in probably several more years, uh, at least in aggregate. If you're talking about San Francisco and San Jose, you already know how I feel. I think these markets are just insane and shouldn't be invested in shouldn't for sure but when you think about california proper that's a different story right i think it's mid single digits very safe lending standards are very safe so i feel very good about putting new capital to work but what this means is we need to watch this cycle because it will eventually reach its end trees don't grow to the heavens for obvious reasons i don't know if that's two three five nine fifteen years from now but at some point it will reach some natural point while it will plateau and, and, and probably decline. Um, lots of things could cause that. Uh, a spike in unemployment, spike in inflation, spike in interest rates. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Lot, lots of things could cause that. But uh, we're just going to pay attention and watch that. The good news is, is market cycles often give you indicators that a peak is coming. And one of the things that we did very well is when the peak came last time is we exited single family homes, which we had, uh, you know, nearly a double in, in every asset. And we moved all that equity to small apartment buildings. That did a couple of things. First off, it saved all that equity that we had earned through that cycle. We didn't give it back. We had friends who just held and then it fell down. And yeah, sure, they had cash flow, but they had the same asset before and after. And, you know, they, they had to wait for it to come back to have any real net worth. We moved all that to small apartment buildings and, and you know, um, you know, working with me, partnering with me on this, my investors will sort of hear what I think is coming and, and, and know that, uh, you know, hey, I'm moving my equity out of the houses into, into small apartment buildings um, because I just think that's the right idea. And again, you can sit pat. There's, there's no reason why you don't have to sell, but we're going to 1031 exchange when it makes sense. Then as it comes down, you can also watch the market cycle because, again, it will tell you when it's coming out of it. Uh, and that's when you get, frankly, greedy and, and buy hand over fist. So I love California dirt because of the cycles, right, the ups and downs. Um, some people I talk with, you know, they're, they just want flat, right? They want to they wanna buy it, maybe 1% up, 1% down, neither here nor there. Um, you know, if your goals are, I don't know, pick a number, $500, $1,000, you know, you want to get 3, 4, 8, 10 units, a kind of flat market, you know, buy one a year for 10 years, you'll get there. Nothing wrong with that. That's just not what I wanted. I needed to get out of this game. And, um, you know, we rode the up cycle. We bought five or six properties. We used the equity play to 1031 from six to 60. And um, when it went down, we bought everything we could. Now it's, again, on an upswing. And, you know, we're looking at potentially moving assets at some point, maybe this year, maybe next year, the year after, houses into multifamilies again because um, it's just the right idea. So again, very excited about California dirt. If you don't live here, uh, you should check out the market cycles because I think they'll help you. Uh, if you do live here, uh, I would tell you to, to look at areas that aren't the Bay Area, aren't San Francisco, maybe aren't even Orange County, some of these really ritzy areas that just don't make sense to invest in. Um, live where you want, but invest where the money makes sense. And lastly, do me a favor. If you're watching this and still watching this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've had that goal of, of trying to help a thousand people. I think we're at 26 as of this morning. Uh, just hit subscribe. It's just my metric to capture uh, our, uh, our path to a thousand. So have a great day.